everybody, welcome back. It's Joe White here for another edition of Live Free from Get Life Coaching. And it's the New Year season. And no matter where you turn to the internet, radio, television, magazines, you're going to see two things. New Year's resolutions and goals. And New Year, New You. That's the only slogan that you're allowed to use for the New Year season. But I think it's garbage. I really do. Pretty much all of it. I would rather say this. New Year, no more old crap. Heck with the new you. Who do you need to become? We don't turn to someone new. See, we don't need to become somebody, my friends. We need to stop being who we really are. Think about that. We have to stop being who we really are. It's like Michelangelo and the statue of David. It was a rock, and inside that rock was a perfect, perfect, a masterpiece called David. It just took a, a great artist to be able to chisel away and reveal what was always there. But most people just saw the rock. And then the second challenge I have here is with goals and resolutions. I was on Facebook and everything for goals and goals and goals. Every coach and therapist and person out there saying, set your goals, set your goals. Don't set your goals. You're going to fail. 90% of the people fail. Wrong strategy. See, our challenge isn't about setting goals. You, me, everybody, we're good at setting goals. We're lousy at following through. We're lousy at becoming the person that we need to be to consistently take the action to achieve the results we want. See, there's two worlds or two ingredients that all change, all things that happen come from. Our perception, which is what we feel about something, it's the emotional state and the stories we tell ourselves of why we can or why we can't. And then two is our procedure, what we do, our strategies and our actions. And in there lies our goals, but everybody wants to be focused on the procedure of what to do. Sign up, lose weight, do this, do that. But... If we have the same lousy story, I'm too tired to work out. I'm too tired to get out of bed. It's too cold. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough money. Ow, I'm sore. Whatever it is. If we have the same story that we tell ourselves over and over again of why we can't change or why it's too hard or why it won't last. It doesn't matter how many goals you get set or what you get sucked into. It's not going to work. See, I'd rather go this approach. I mean, I think goal, I, mean, I know goals are important, but it has its place in this order. It's not the first thing you do. The first thing you do is examine the emotional state that you're consistently living in. Look, if the emotional state that you're living in is being lazy, is keeping your butt on the couch, is not getting up, doing the things you need to do, that is going to go a long way in you not achieving your goal. So in a nutshell here, the short version is that identify the emotional state that you need to be in. Then get yourself in them. If you don't know how, look, sign up for our seven-day challenge. We can teach you with that. If not, there's plenty of books and tapes through us, through other people out there that explains how to change your emotional state. But if you're not in the state that's going to produce, produce the results that you want, you can't keep setting better goals for the results that you want. You gotta get yourself in state. And what very often keeps us out of state is the stories we tell ourselves of why we can't change. We invent these stories for two things. A, describe we why we feel the way we do. I am so depressed because this happened to me when I was a child, or this happened to me when I was an adult. We invent these stories. We wonder why we don't change. Because the emotional state that we're stuck in is surrounded by the story to explain why we're in this state. Or... We're in a lousy state telling lousy stories and we take a, we create a strategy and we barely half-heartedly put ourselves into that strategy so we get lousy action and lousy results. So what do we do? Examine ourselves? No, no. We, we invent a story of why we can't grow. I work with businesses time in and time out. When I sit down and ask one question, I said, what is preventing your business from growing? And I can tell if I want to work with them right away. If they say the economy as their reason why they're not growing, I know they're not willing to do what they need to do to create the breakthroughs that they want. Because it, it's not the economy. Yes, there's truth in it. I call it fishtails, right? Stories 
have some element of truth. And that's where we get caught up. We tell ourselves, oh my God, there's truth in this. But it's like a fish tail. I went fishing one day, I caught a 10 pound fish. I went to work, I told someone, and I caught a 12 pound fish. The next person, 15 pound, then 20, then 30. By the end of the day, it was up to a 50 pound fish. Is there truth in the story that I caught a 50 pound fish? Yes, I caught a fish. But it wasn't 50 pounds. But we get hooked and, and go into trance and we tell ourselves that that story is true. When one point of it is, but the whole point of it, the whole measurement of it is not. And we get caught in this trance, and we get caught in this, and we go, this is why I don't have the result. No, it's because you're not taking effective action, or you have a long, long emotional state, or your paradigms or your beliefs are preventing you, or you have a lousy strategy. But if you do anything half-heartedly, you're not going to get half-hearted results. So then we create the story to explain why it's not us, it's something else, it's the economy, it's my partner, it's the weather, it's this, it's that. So we never have to change. And that reinforces the very emotional state that you're stuck in. But set more goals. Sounds like the right solution to me. And be like the 90% of the people who fail. But if you want to create lasting change, true breakthroughs, you got to change the emotional states and the stories you tell yourself. It begins there. Just changing that won't get you your goals. It will, it will align you so that you can achieve your goals. I said this before. It's not setting the goals that's important. It's who we become so that we consistently take the action that we need to to achieve what we want to achieve. And that formula works. It has worked for me. It has worked for hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people who are successful. We can't expect to, to be the same type of person that create the problem and create the solution. We need to grow, elevate, change what we're doing, change our approach. So how do I do this? Like I said, there's a lot of ways. But there's one way that you can do it right here, right now with us. You can begin at this moment. And it doesn't cost you any money, but it will cost you your heart, your time, and your and emotional investment in the process. And it's called our seven-day challenge. And I, I offer this as an opportunity for people to, to, to really begin to examine themselves and get them on, on track. And it's an amazing program. And basically what you do, you watch a video like this for one video for seven days. And then you have a short four or five questions that you, that you answer. And you email them, your, you get assigned an actual coach. And that coach will email you back some feedback on where you're hitting the mark and where you want to kind of adjust to. And there's no charge for this. It's our gift to you. It's called a seven-day challenge. But don't get caught in the trap and think of seven days watching video, five questions. How hard can it be? Because people don't finish. Oh, they have their stories. Why? I don't have the time. The questions were too deep. I got too late. It was this, this, that. Everybody has a story. But it will revolutionize and change your life. You will have some incredible breakthroughs by completing from the beginning to the end, by giving it your heart. So you know what? The money issue is easy because it's free. But it's the emotional commitment of time and energy. See, that's, that's the price that you pay. But the results you get are absolutely amazing. So if you want to do the seven-day challenge, go to our website www.getlifecoaching.com and right on the front page you'll see probably another video or something that talks about the seven day challenge. Click on it, register, you can begin tonight. And in seven days, you're going to have alignment of your perception and a written plan of your procedure. It's absolutely amazing. So please, please, please take advantage of it. Forget the goals, forget the new you, new you, new year, new you, all that crap. Just get rid of the old crap. And have an amazing new year. Better yet, create and design an amazing life. Now that is exciting. Till next time, if I don't talk to you between now and then, I know it will. Happy New Year. But if not, have a great day. Have an amazing day. Until next time, wish you all the love and passion there is. My name is Joe White from Get Life Coaching. Take care. Bye-bye.